What up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we got Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition on the Nintendo Switch, a game that's kind of recently come under fire for having like dipping frame rates and stuff like that. I've played it for a few hours at this point in handheld mode and dot, didn't bother me at all. And Monolith Soft, okay, Monolith Soft did the Super Robot Tizen OG series. Absolutely loved that, the first game. I just got the second game, well, an English translated ROM of the second game. I've been playing it with a GPDXD. It's a DS game. Absolutely love it, what I played of it so far. I'll share with you guys where I got that ROM if you're interested. Um, no manual in this thing, unfortunately, but, you know, all the manuals are what, like digital now? I don't know. But anyway, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition on the Nintendo Switch. Next up, we have The Alliance Alive on the Nintendo Switch, a game that I originally played on the Nintendo 3DS. Now, this game wasn't just ported to the Switch, it was ported to the PS4 as well, so you have some choices there. You can play it on the Switch, you can play it on the PS4. I would imagine, since it was originally a 3DS game, it would probably play the exact same on the PS4 or the Switch, but you know, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. If you played this game on the PS4, does it play better? Is there any added content or anything? I doubt there would be, but you know, let me know in the comments. But I think there's actually something in the case. I mean, it says there is, um, but it feels like there might be a manual or something in there. I mean, you can tell the difference in the weight. Um, you know, we didn't get anything in Xenoblade, but, you know, hopefully we'll get something here in Alliance Alive. And yes, okay, we, okay, that's not good. Okay, all right, we got something. All right, so we got some inside cover art. I mean, we had that on Xenoblade, even though I didn't point that out. And we have a cart, which we would expect, you know. If it was a paper for a download code, I'd probably try to take it back, although I probably couldn't take it back because I don't think they take download codes back. But we have some cardboard, like, stand-up art uh, figures, and I'm not going to, like, punch them out, but I'll show them to you guys. Um, this kind of reminds me of the little cardboard figures, you know, kind of, the ones that came in. It was one of those Lunars that came out on the PS1. It might have been the second one, Lunar 2 Eternal Blue. But there we go, we have little art cards of, you know, cardboard stand-up pieces that we could set up. We're not gonna, we're not gonna do that. I mean, we're gonna put them back in the case, of course. Um, but anyway, Alliance Alive on the Nintendo Switch. Okay, guys, I wanna take a little bit of time and talk about this game, Hunt Down, I've been playing. And that's what you're seeing right now, the gameplay footage. I've actually been playing it on the Switch, but this game's available for the PS4, Xbox One, uh, Steam. It is digital. I would love to get a physical of this one. Oh, my God. So what is this game? As you can see, it's a run-and-gun shooter. It's got an awesome story. I love the pixel art. It's got a... For some reason, the story kind of reminds me of the Warriors, even though you're not a gang trying to make your way through New York City to your turf you know it's not like that but you are fighting gangs in this so you're a mercenary pretty much you're hired by major corporations to take down street gangs you know that's pretty much what you are you're a mercenary so your allegiance lies to the highest bidder and that's pretty much what it says when you boot the game up it's a running gun shooter it reminds me kind of like that terminator game that came out on the sega cd and then it has an aesthetic that kind of reminds me of snatcher but obviously it's a running gun shooter it's not snatcher this is a really great game, guys. I mean, if you like games like this, running gun shooters, shoot 'em ups, arcade style games, I think you guys are really gonna like this game. It's twenty bucks, you know, digital. Again, you know, something like this. That I like this game so much that if a collector's edition came out, I would buy it and leave it sealed. Yep, that's how much I like this game, and I'll probably get it digital on the PS4 too, so I can play it on there and live stream it, even though I can live stream it on the Switch. But whatever, I'm I'm just digging this game, guys, and I think if you like arcade style shooters, you guys will dig it too. And real quick before I go, I want to say this: I got one of those Neo Geo arcade stick pros. You know, love the thing; works great on my PS4. The ROMs on it work great too. I cannot, for the life of me, get that thing hooked up to the Nintendo Switch. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. There's one video on the internet or on YouTube, at least that I saw. It's a mad little pixel video, and I'm, I'm doing everything the way the guy does it in the video, but I am not getting results, you know, at all. And I tried other controllers with the Game Link adapter. I can't get anything. So if you guys know anything about that, please let me know in the comments down below. I really want to get that Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro hooked up to my Switch, so I can play some of the shooters that only have digital like rolling gunner anyways guys love to hear about your week in the comments down below till next time peace out